A battle tank is only as effective as its gun. And for the Stryker vehicle, that's the M68 105mm cannon. First, a block of gun steel is heated in a furnace for an hour at 2,000 degrees to soften the metal. Then, a jaw-like mechanism called a chuck grabs the tube and pushes it into the rotary forge. In the forge, four synchronized hammers strike the tube with 200 tons of force. As the hammers pound at its surface, the tube rotates. This process lengthens and shapes the red-hot metal as if it were clay. Coming out of the forge, the cannon has stretched in length from 3.3 meters to 6.8 meters. The cannon is lifted onto cooling racks to cool for 24 hours. Then the cannon is reheated in another oven with open flame for about an hour and then cooled with water. This process hardens the steel. After all this heating and cooling, the cannon develops bends a shell launched from a warp cannon will veer off its target and might even misfire. To straighten the cannon, it's hoisted onto a vertical press. The tube revolves while a probe measures it and the operator marks any warps. Next, 1,000 tons of pressure is applied to the areas that are warped and the cannon is made perfectly straight. <laughs> 